Let's look into the problems in current electricity. Here is example 1. An incandescent lamp is operated at 240 volt and the current is almost 0.5 ampere. So what is the resistance of the lamp? That's the question. So we got our voltage V is equal to 240 volt and the current I is equal to 0.5 ampere. I need to find R. So this can be identified using Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law is nothing but V is equal to I into R or R is equal to V divided by I. So R is equal to V is 20, 240 divided by 0.5. We got the resistance as 480 Ohm. Now we'll move on to the next one, an incandescent lamp. So this is the one, so we got the answer as resistance of the lamp is 480 ohm. We'll move on to the next problem, example 2. The resistance of a field coil measures 50 ohm at 20 degrees Celsius and 65 ohm at 70 degrees Celsius. I need to identify the temperature coefficient of the resistance. So, R at 20 degrees Celsius, that's 50 ohm. Resistance at 70 degrees Celsius is 65 ohm. We need to identify the temperature coefficient. Here is the solution. RT is equal to R0 into 1 plus alpha T. So, we got it as 50 is equal to R0 into 1 plus alpha into 20. So, T is 20. So, T is 20. And R not, we need to identify, we don't know, but R we know it, it's 50. And we got the temperature T is 70 and resistance is 65. We got 65 is equal to R not into 1 plus alpha into 70. We got two equations. So dividing 1 and 2 as here, you got. 2 divided by 1. So you got equation 2 in the numerator and you got equation 1 in the denominator. So solving this equation you will be getting R0, R0 is cancelled and multiplying here you got 65 into 1 plus alpha into 20 is equal to 50 into 1 plus alpha into 70. Solving it 65, 65 into 1, 65 plus 65 into 20,300 alpha equal to 50 plus 70 into 50,3500 alpha. So 65 plus 50 will become minus 50 here and 1,300 alpha comes here minus 1,300 alpha. You got 15 is equal to alpha into 2, 200. So alpha is equal to 15 divided by 2, 200 is equal to point not not 0.00681. So that's the temperature coefficient of the resistance. So the temperature coefficient of the resistance is alpha is equal to 0 0.00681 per degree Celsius. So three resistors R1, R2 and R3 are connected in series with a 10 volt supply. Find the voltage drop across each resistor. That's the question. So R1 is equal to 5 ohm, R2 is equal to 3 ohm and R3 is equal to 2 ohm. The voltage is 10 volt. We need to identify the current and voltage drop. So as you know, the effective resistance can be identified because it's in series. The total resistance is Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 532 that's 10 ohm. So since current in the circuit can be identified from V divided by RS. So V is 10 volt divided by 10 ohm you got 1 ohm. So current in the circuit is given by it's not ohm it's ampere. We got ampere I is equal to 1 ampere it's not ohm. So voltage drop across R1 
is given by v1 into equal to i into r1. So i is 1 into r1 is 5. We got the voltage drop across r1 is 5 volt. So v2 equal to i into r2. So i is 1 and r2 is 3. So the voltage drop across r2 is 3 volt. So voltage drop across r3 is i is 1 and r3 is 2. So 1 into 2. So voltage drop across r3 is v3 equal to 2 volt. We'll move on to another example. A 10 ohm resistance is connected in series with a cell of EMF 10 volt. A voltmeter is connected in parallel to a cell and it reads 9.9 .9 volt. Find the internal resistance of the cell. That's the question. So we know R, E, V and R. So the internal resistance of a cell using voltmeter can be calculated using the formula R is equal to E minus V divided by V into R. So substituting the value here, you will be getting 10 minus 9.9 .9 divided by 9.9 .9 into 10. So, so 10 minus 9.9 .9 is 0 0.1. 0 0.1 divided by 9.9 .9 into 10, you got 0 0.010101 into 10. You got the value as 0 0.10101. That's the answer. So the internal resistance is 0 0.10101 ohm. That's it. Thanks for watching our GTEC Techno Solutions problems. Thank you.